ever gone to your parts store and stared at the shelving of all the different oils and wondered, which one should I get? Well, you're in luck. Here's my complete guide on the right oil to use in your MX-5 Miata. What engine oil should I use? Is this gearbox oil the right stuff? Do I need GL4 or GL5? Does the transmission use the same oil as the diff? G'day folks, my name is Brendan and welcome to Beavis Motorsport. Now, I often get asked about the right oils to use in an MX-5. Engine, gearbox and diff, viscosity and all the different brands. So, here's my complete guide on the right oils to use in your engine, transmission and differential. Now, because I love you all so much, I'll be sure to include details on all four models of MX-5 right from NA to ND. Let's get started with the obvious one, engine oil. The Mazda power units from all years of MX-5 are considered modern engines and as such run a reasonably thin viscosity oil. For NA and NB, you typically want to run a 530 or 540 grade oil. For the NC, a 520, and for the ND, it's rated for a 020. However, if you really push your motor to the limits or you run a boosted application, then consider a thicker, hotter grade oil for your respective car. For example, in my boosted NB, I like to use a 5 50 grade Penrite premium oil. The other exception here is should you have an engine that's a little tired, perhaps an old ticking 1.6, or a car that's burning through a little oil, then it may be reasonable to run a thicker oil, such as a 10-60, to, shall we say, fill some of the gaps that may have formed over the years. All years of MX-5 Miata will take about 4 litres when performing an oil change. However, it's always suggested to underfill by about half a litre and then double or triple check your dipstick before adding to the full amount. And then of course remember to start the car, let it run for a moment and then shut it off before checking the oil level for a final time. Using the right oil in your MX-5 Miata's transmission is equally as critical as that of the engine. Use the wrong oil and you will find it hard to shift or you may end up with poor lubrication or even find metal shavings in the oil. Mazda rates the gearbox oil for all models at a 75-90 weight and specifically GL4. GL4 is a rating related to additives. The gearbox necessitates a GL4 rated fluid as it runs fewer additives which is nice on the synchros and offers a more satisfying shift feel. You're going to need about two to two and a half litres of oil for all years of MX-5, give or take a little. Uh, the easy thing with filling the transmission is you just keep pumping oil in there and still it starts to drool out of the fill hole. In my case, I cheat a little and I actually use Penrite's 7585 synthetic GL4 transmission oil. Now, you might ask, but what about my automatic transmission? Well, sorry, we don't serve your kind here. You'll have to wait outside. <music> Lastly, let's talk about the differential. So, similar to the transmission, the diff requires a 75-90 gear oil. However, the difference is the diff demands a GL5 specification, and that is an important difference. It may be tempting, but don't use the same oil for the transmission and the differential. They are different. Whether you have an open or a factory LSD, be it the viscous unit from the early 1.6s or a later model Torsen, they still run the same oil. The exception here would be if you're running some sort of aftermarket LSD center, such as a clutch pack like I have in my track car. For that, I use an 85 to 140 mineral oil. And for all years of MX-5, they take about one liter in the differential. Just one extra heads up and don't forget, you always want to use a high quality blinker fluid. 
I always use the STP brand. I like to change my blinker fluid every time I change my engine oil. And of course, if you have an NA, be sure to use a fluid that's suitable for pop-ups. Well, I hope this answers some of your oil-related questions and makes your next MX-5 Miata oil change a little bit easier. Of course, please post below if you have any questions, and as always, give the video a thumbs up and please share it with your mates. I really appreciate it. Anyway, folks, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.